The Jamaica Association of Principals of Secondary Schools President Linville Wright has also broken ranks with the Jamaica Teachers Association in recommending that teachers be armed with non-lethal weapons like pepper spray to fend off attacks. Mr. Wright's proposal follows a series of incidents in which teachers have been attacked and injured by students or parents. He is arguing that the time has come for a reduction of the number of subjects being pursued by students so they can spend more time on changing attitudes and values. Teachers are overwhelmed, I agree. But I'm, I'm saying what needs to happen. If we are going to have children who have eight subjects but can't get a job because of their attitude. Because the working world and the world out there is far more harsh than school. School is where the second chances are, where you get the counseling, where people see with you. What I feel we maybe need to look at in our curriculum is reduce the number of subjects our students are doing. I think so. And Mr. Wright explained why he doesn't believe that arming educators and teaching them self-defense is the best approach to tackling the problem. I don't see the fighting fire with fire as the way. One of the things that needs to happen in schools and that we're not paying attention to, so you get, for example, government talking about progress and prosperity. And we are pushing this whole idea of valuables. So you earn some wealth, you earn some status, you get a job. But what's the attitude it takes to that job? And what I find happening in our curriculum now, we talk about PEP, for example. How many of us really have looked into PEP to see what kind of values are being taught? in that PEP curriculum, what, 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 what percentage, how much of it, what aspects of it do we infuse and integrate values in? When it comes to the high school curriculum, what's there that is infusing values? Mr. Wright added that the focus should now shift to more quality education. We have got to look at a rounded education and not just one that is just spiking just in terms of the number of subjects you know, or where it puts you and you go to Harvard. But you go to Harvard and come back, you come back and, 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 and you're somebody whose value system is somebody who doesn't pay any attention to. And I'm saying, I feel that this course has to go there. The answers are easy to say, go to ministry, get soldiers in school, get karate in school. Those are easy answers. Superficial answers in my mind, too. I believe that as, 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 as educators, if we're going to sit down and talk, we must sit down and strategize as to how we're going to be more integrating more into schools. Carrie and Simpson, Frontline News.